YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Steph. So today I got a really great video uh, request from a guy that submitted his question through my website, stephiscode.com. Link will be in the description. Link will also be in the comment section. Um, I'm not at home right now. I am uh, visiting my mom, and I'm in my brother's, um, you know, uh, office where he uh, uh, twitch his games online. So, you know the scenery might look different. You don't see the wolf in the back. It's okay. All right, let's dive into the topic. <laughs> All right, playing the video right now. I want you guys to really, really hear this, okay? Playing it right now. All right, so I was talking to this girl for about two months, and like she started talking to me first. Uh, and then, like, I was kind of being dry with her because I knew she was bad, so I didn't want to give her a lot of attention. And she kept text, texting and texting me, triple texting me, this, that, and that, whatever. So I started talking to her. And like, we're talking for a good week or two. She, the first time we hung out, she wanted to hang out with me. Came over to my house. We had like Chipotle or whatever. She came over to watch TV. She wouldn't just give me no truth. She knows nothing, whatever. Let it slide. Next time we hung out, went to the beach, chilled, whatever. Uh, took her home. I tried to make a move. She wasn't with it. I was like, oh, I'm not trying to be friends on the side of that. She was like, oh, I'm not trying to rush things, whatever. Next week goes by. Next week goes by. We keep texting, whatever. And, like, after two weeks, it's just getting annoying. Like, I don't even want to text. Like, I'm, I, don't, I don't even see a point of texting her if I'm not going to get no play. So I just told her straight up how it, was, how it was. I was like, yo, like, if you're not going to, like, provide me with nothing, this, that, and that, I just don't see a point of texting you. Like, you're just wasting too much of my time, and I don't have time for that. And then she was like, no, no, like, I, I really like you, this, and that. I just want to make sure, like, I know what I want, this, and that. I don't want to be confused. Whatever. Next time we hung out, um, we, we ended up making out at her job, whatever. And then we kept texting this, that, and that, saying I made her cheese, this, that, and that. And pretty much next the next week, um, she wasn't doing nothing. She wasn't doing nothing the next week, but she said she wanted to go out Saturday. I was like, yeah, no problem. You go out, like, whatever. Um, I just been on my grind, so I wasn't going out at all this time. And, like, the last time I was going out, I was like, yo, it's the last time I'm going out, and it was with her. So she knew I'm not going out, whatever. And she's like, oh, I, don't, I didn't find any plans, so I'm not gonna go out tonight. I was like, all right, bet. So like, let's do something. Let's 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 do something together. So we're not here just texting each other on the phone. And she's like, yeah, I'm about doing something, but. And then she kept making excuses, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I was like, you know what? Screw this, bro. Like, I'm I'm. This is like so annoying. So I just stopped texting her. I didn't stop texting her. Um, I didn't text her for a day. She texted me. Like, I was just being really dry with her. And then, like, my car got broken into. I posted it on my Snapchat, and she asked me about it. And I was like, I don't even want to talk about it. And then she didn't reply back to me. And then ever since after that, like, three, four days later, she posted up on Twitter, oh, I need friends. My DMs are open. And some guy, like, replied on her uh, timeline. It was like, bet, like, with this gif. And ever since then, that night, they ended up hanging out. Like, she went with them, like, with her, with him and his friends, whatever, like, to somebody's crib and had, like, drinks and stuff like that, whatever. Up till four in the morning on her, uh, like, friends only snap that she added me in. She posted, like, a selfie with him in the bathroom. And then, like, friends only snap she sent, like, um, that, like, he, he gave her, like, balloons and flowers for a Valentine's gift and, like, a simp ass. So, then, like three days later, she posted on her uh, Twitter, um, uh, looking for friends. My DMs are open. Uh, and then this guy replied back to her saying bet. And that same night, they hung out. They had drinks or whatever at like somebody's house, like a little friend's house. And ever since then, they've been like talking pretty much. Like me and her were talking. They've been going out every weekend, getting drunk, coming home like five in the morning. And like she flexes it. Like, so I don't even know if she's just doing that to get me mad. Or if she's just, that's how she is, because she she is a, a pretty, she was a thought. So, like, that's why I don't really have any interest to be this like, be with this girl, but I definitely do want a pipe, because I know she's a good pipe. So pretty much where I'm trying to go here is, I know I'm going to see her sooner or later. I thought she would text me by now, because I haven't talked to her in about two, two and a half weeks. But I know I'm going to see her again, and, like, I know when she sees me, I feel like she's going to come up to me and, like, like ask what's going on this and that but or she could just be trying to get me jealous and like just like trying to be all over the guy that she's been hanging out with the whole time i just know how i don't know how to approach this i don't know how to like handle it or to be addicted to her but if i feel like i'm a, if i'm addicted to her she gonna um 
she's gonna see that like I care and honestly I don't want her to give her that I don't want to give her that um privilege to see that I care she got a boyfriend bro that's all this is <laughs> That's all this is, dude. She got a boyfriend, man. She got a dude. She got her man, bruh. Sometimes in this life that we live, G, you got to know how to cut your losses. You got to know how to just... As a man, bro, you just got to know how to just be like, you know what, I'm done. And you got to be okay with walking away, bro. You got to be okay with walking away with something within the next 5 to 10 seconds that doesn't go with what you want to go. A lot of you dudes don't know why. Like, bro, like, if I'm going to tell you this, dog. If a chick adds you on her uh, on her close friends list, all she want, all, all that is is just you are a guy that she find attractive. At the same time, she want to, she want to give you that validation. She might not let you hit why? Because she either married or got a boyfriend. Not saying that these chicks that got boyfriends won't cheat because she did cheat with you, but she doesn't want to take it too far. Why? Because her boyfriend emotionally imprinted her. Her boyfriend sexually imprinted her, meaning she has no desire to want to sleep with you. Only desire she has to do with you is to use you as an emotional tampon usage. That is all you're good for. That's all you can do for her. She keep posting. She keep going to these same events with, with going to these events with the same guy. Ding 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 ding. That's her boyfriend. Duh. If you keep seeing the same guy in the picture, bro, that's her boyfriend. That's her main dude. That's the dude she never gonna let go. That's the dude that take care of her. And get this out y'all head, bro. You buying your girl something for Valentine's Day mean you a simp or you a beta male. No, it doesn't. There's nothing wrong with showing your woman that you appreciate her. There's nothing wrong with that. That does not make you a simp. That does not make you a beta male cuck. What makes you a simp and a beta male cuck is if you're doing things for a woman that's not your woman and she's not giving you the energy that you deserve. If she's not giving you the energy that you want within your life, whether it's sexually, whether it's emotionally or spiritually, she's not giving you what you want and you're still giving her what you what, what she wants, that is a simp. That is beta because you are not in control of situations. Right now, she is in control of this situation. Because she caught a shots. You made a move on her at her crib, right? I mean, when you, when you came over, she ain't she ain't foresee with the move. Then the second time y'all hung out, you made another move. She ain't proceed with the move. That right there should tell you everything you need to know about this chick, fellas. There is the, the, the sex is never worth the wait. It's not worth the squeeze. I'm gonna tell y'all this about women. If a woman really like you, whether she married or got a man. She going to find any way for her to want to get with you. I'm going to tell y'all, G, the best, the best intimacy is when you want her as bad as she wants you. It's when she wants you better than how much you want her. That's the best kind. That's when the guts is the wettest. When you don't have to... Make all these uh, So when you're free Hitting on her She gonna be hitting you up Asking you Hey can I come over Can you make time for me I wanna see you I'm sick of this man I'm sick of these women dude I'm sick of these women Thinking they They, they just so entitled And they broke They have nothing going for themselves I'm sick of seeing These kind of women I'm sick of it the women that's on the SMB scale from four to five will give you a hard time. Because simps have made the game e harder for us. But easier for us to weave out these chicks who only you only use us for our, for our emotions. She only using you for a boost. You're you are a buff. In an RPG game, you you know how you Final Fantasy be like, ah, they charge up. Ring, ring. Then it say uh, bravery. You know what bravery do? Bravery increases your strength for one hour. 
You are a buff. So she cashes you whenever she's ready to encounter a boss fight. Oh, did she cash you? Henry. What's the boss fight? The boss fight is her finna battle her emotions. So she needs you as the emotional tampon, as the buff to increase her awareness within herself as a character for a duration of 10 days, 15 days. You know how long buffs last. Y'all know I, I like the game analogies is cold. She charging you up. Then she... Then you appear on the on above her head. You appear right there for, and it says Henry in emotional tampon usage. Fifteen duration time, fifteen hours. Special ability: suck the emotions out of him. Right before she fight the big boss fight, the big boss fight is right there, but she casts the. Y'all know how these RPGs is for all my gamers out there. You just a buff. You are a buff for a duration of time. That is it. Now you could be this emotional buff or you need a buff that she really needs. You know what buff I would really want? I would want that berserk buff. That bravery buff that increases her strength. Because she needs me then to dig out the guts. Not the emotional tampon. Not that. I don't want to be that. How can you weed your way out of that? Oh, yeah, she came over. She on games. Okay, let me try one more time. Oh, she came over again. She on games. Oh, she got to go. Sometimes, G, like, sometimes, bro, you just got to be like, you know what? I apologize, but we never have to speak again and never speak to her again. I had a woman that added me on her on her close friends. Added me on her close friends. Right? Big breasts, as Ron will say. Some Latina chick. Added me on her close friends list. Right? Why would she do that, fellas? Because she wants me to say something. Right? So if I say something, she can go back to the other people and say, yeah, Stephen Skull was in my DMs. You got to look at yourself as a high value man. What kind of value is this woman adding to my life? There is no value in a woman using you for your time. The value has to be mutual. I give you time, you give me guts. I give you time, you give me mouth. I give you time, you give me breast assist. I give you time, you make me bust. Not, I give you time, you suck the energy out of me. No. I give you time, you're using me. No. I give you time, you make me look stupid. No, we're not doing that. This is what the women do. No woman is single Y'all have to understand that Women who say You know oh, I haven't I haven't did it in three months These women be These women fantasize about a man Just Just breaking in their room Talking to him in their ear and, and And rubbing that thing down there Rubbing that clitoris The clitoris They, they fantasize about that You can't believe what these women is talking about. Most of these women got boyfriends and husbands in disguise. They just use you as an attention boost, bruh. You just a buff. You just a buff while the husband gonna make her buff. You just a buff while the husband gonna make her buff. Sing it, y'all. You just a buff. The husband gonna make her buff. Hey, you just a buff. Husband gonna make her buff. <laughs> That's just what it is. You just a buff. But the husband or the boyfriend or the guy that she really like gonna make her butt. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. But what do I know, man? I'm 22 years young. I ain't experienced a lot, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, bro. I ain't trying to toot my own horn, bro. I know about female nature, G. This stuff is universal. 
This stuff is universal, G. If a woman is giving you a hard time, why do you deal with her even more? Why? I need a woman that's going to reciprocate with my energy. So your question is, to answer your question, she got a boyfriend, bro. She got a boyfriend. She has a man. And the only thing she putting you on her close friends list is because she wants to make you jealous with her man. <laughs> That's it. Could you dig out her guts? Maybe. But in order for you to dig out her guts, she got to invite you over to her crib. And she got to ask you, hey, can I come over? If you got to pursue, you ain't never going to get in them guts, my G. If you, let me say that one more time. If you got to pursue, there is nothing you going to do. If you got to pursue, there is nothing you're going to do. You're going to do nothing but be in her presence like a beta cut. That's the video for today. Don't forget to like my video, man. Comment, subscribe. I'll let back at your boy.